Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. We are going to be talking about Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, as it has had some bad news in the uh, press and so the news lately we are going to be talking about is this a potential good buy or should you stay away from this stock? We're going to be talking about this and more. I think you're going to get a lot out of this video before we get down into it and get started. Give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Don't forget to share this page with others so we can continue to grow the channel. I'd greatly appreciate that. Using my links down below, I have some great promotions for you to get some free stocks. Using my links, the Moomoo and Weeble uh, can get you up to five free stocks. Incredible opportunities to get some free money. Now, without further ado, let's transition and talk about Mullen Automotive. Um, uh, just most recently, just about a few months ago, actually maybe two months ago, the CEO, uh, David Mercery, actually did come out and do a very big interview through Benzenga. Uh, he made a lot of promises and those promises are actually now under investigation. Um, now, we have seen that in the past there have been CEOs that have actually uh, told a lot of uh, false news and that has actually landed them in trouble. Uh, we have just me most recently learned that Mullen uh, CEO is now under investigation uh, to see if his claims are true or not. Um, just to give you a little refresher on that uh, uh, interview with Benzenga, the CEO did mention that they are going to be having a very big Fortune 500 company uh, that is buying their electric delivery vans. So uh, this is one of the uh, claims that is being evaluated because uh, so far we have not seen any electric vehicle prototypes uh, for electric delivery vans. Now, if you go on to Milan uh, Automotive's website, you do see that there are two actually variations of an electric delivery van. Uh, but however, there has been a report just recently come out called the Hindenburg uh, report that actually says that this is all false, that this is actually a, a Chinese EV company that just has the Mullen Automotive logo on that. Again, I cannot verify if these uh, claims or accusations are true or not, but what I can do is report what is in the news right now, and we are seeing that they are being investigated. This is definitely some bad news for this stock. Uh, if it's true or not, we're not sure. We will find out shortly, I'm sure. However, looking at the stock price, it has actually took a tumble. Uh, it is now currently trading at a roughly about $2.40. Um, so again, that has brought in some downward pressure. This stock was at one point trading above $4, especially in the past two months. Um, but just in the past about one month, we are still up a little bit more than about 100%. Um, but uh, again, please use your own uh, you know, risk calculations. Always do your own due diligence before purchasing this or any other stock. Um, the second thing that they are being looked at and evaluated, investigated on is their claims of a battery, uh, solid state battery. Now, we do know that um, there are numerous companies, uh, QuantumScape, we also have uh, legacy automakers such as uh, Toyota that has actually been working on a solid state battery uh, to get the electric vehicle company moving. Uh, that would be very good for the uh, companies as a whole. As the solid state battery is a lot less weight, um, it does not have that flammable liquid into it. It has a better range, uh, but right now there has not been anybody or any company that can mass produce this uh, right now. We have only seen results um, in, the, um, in the lab. So um, again, Mullen um, has claimed uh, that they are making a solid state battery that can have 600 mile range. Um, also that can charge in 300 miles in about 18 minutes. Um, again, these claims are being evaluated, investigated. Is this something that they could potentially do? Um, we have not seen a QuantumScape or Toyota or any other electric vehicle manufacturer create this as of right now, but uh, this is another part that is being investigated. So we'll definitely have to see what this has to hold. And uh, again, these are big negative uh, parts, a lot of headwinds on this stock um, as it does compare to uh, its potential. Now, 
Um, again, we are going to be seeing if the CEO is telling the truth uh, this quarter, Q2, uh, any time between now and at the end of probably July, we should see Mullen Automotive make that big public relations announcement. Um, who the Fortune 500 company is, what kind of pre-orders of the electric delivery vans are being made. Um, once we do see this, I think that this stock has a huge upside potential, but please do your own due diligence. Use caution um, so you do not get burned. A lot of investors have been burned most recently uh, with CEOs telling false claims. Um, and I don't wanna go into other companies, but as you know, we have lost quite a bit of money um, such as with Nicola. So um, again, they have not had a product yet. There's no delivery van uh, that has been shown. Um, so again, use your own due diligence. Uh, so again, I did wanna just bring this up to your attention. This stock has been falling um, and I have actually gotten out of it just to be transparent, uh, just to see what progresses in the next a uh, few days to weeks ahead as this investigation continues. But um, with these uh, SEC investigations, uh, there could be some criminal charges if there is proven to be falsification. So there could be very big fines as well for the company, but we'll definitely have to see um, as Mullen Automotive has been around since 2014 um, and it's still in business. So this is, um, you know, something that we do need to look at and, uh, you know, take advantage of too. But I hope that you did like this video. I hope that you did learn something new. If you did, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Share this page with others. I'd greatly appreciate it. I did want to give a shout out um, and uh, thank my wife. She is actually doing a little bit better. Thank you so much for everybody's support. Uh, she's still getting tests uh, in the hospital. Um, I am actually in one of the uh, med centers uh, where we are. And, um, but her health is improving. We're still trying to figure out what is going on with her, but uh, with everybody's prayers, support, I greatly appreciate that. And I think she's gonna be okay. And I'll give you further updates um, as I find out as well. But again, thanks for supporting the channel, uh, for watching. Uh, share this page with others. Uh, we're growing the channel and I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, also, I have those free uh, links down below to get you some free stocks. Um, my Moo Moo promotion has actually fell off. Um, I don't have that great uh, Lucid or Neo stock uh, promotion anymore, but uh, I am still working on that. But always, uh, you know, you could still get great uh, stocks using that link down below also to Weeble. Uh, so take advantage of that to get some free stocks. But anyway, I will talk to you on the next one. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, stay positive. Uh, life is beautiful. Enjoy your family, your friends. Um, but thanks again for your support. I greatly appreciate that. Take care and I'll talk to you the next one. Thank you.